Welcome to Friends and Neighbors, a new program where Lakeshore PBS explores what it means to live in Northwest Indiana, celebrating the idea that behind all of the good things in the region are good people making it happen. I'm your host, Kristen Estes. Whether it's due to work, the kids, or just life in general, everyone is susceptible to the impact stress can have on our health and well-being. Combine that with physical ailments, and soon all these little things become a lot to handle. Region explorer Matt Palukas combed Northwest Indiana and found a place where you can de-stress, take care of your body, and maybe enjoy a nice cup of tea. Hey everybody, we are here at Float 60 Northwest Indiana. We are going to go into a sensory deprivation tank and we're going to get cryo frozen. I've been here before. I, I know all about the tanks that you have back here. I know that you have some cryo stuff. Tanks and cryo is not something we talk about a whole lot here in Northwest Indiana. No. What is that? So two different modalities we have here, modalities leaning services. We have float tanks, AKA sensory deprivation tanks. The term tends to freak people out. Absolutely. But we have um, a couple of different styles. So you mentioned we have four, three of those are open cabin style. So for like personal pools, then we have the more ominous looking tank that most of us who float often love. So it's a little bit different preference, but all the same thing, thousand pounds of salt, and you float with no effort whatsoever. The cryo, on the other hand, you asked about, it's more of a modality that's very fast. It also addresses inflammation in your body, so if you have aches and pains, it's kind of like a high-tech ice pack. So it's gonna be really cold. You're gonna try it today, right? Absolutely. Great, so yeah, it's only 220 below. But only. You know, yeah, only. It's, it goes really fast. Cryotherapy. This is cryotherapy. Are you nervous? I a little bit, a little bit. It's it's a little it's a little overwhelming. It's intimidating. It's cold. It's very cold. Since the cryo part of it. That's right. And some people cry. No, not everybody not cries, everybody. but just almost. But no, I'm gonna take your temperature real quick. This is to kind of get a baseline of where you are. Okay. You're just gonna drop about 30 degrees, your skin. So right above your knee, if you just show me your knee, 86 degrees. Perfect. Alright. You good with this? I'm good with this. Let's okay. do this. Let's do it. Alright. Whoa. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use this little elevator to lift you up. Woo! Yes, oh, a little brisk. That chili is the boys up. <laughs> when you come out of here, you should feel a very high endorphin rush. And so you feel very energetic, but it definitely addresses all your aches and pains. All right, you got the nine second countdown. Ready? All right. Okay, count Five, with me. Four, four three, three, two, two one. Woo. All right. All right, go ahead and step out. You can grab my hand if you need a little hand. Okay. So you definitely got cold. You know, you can safely go down to about 50. Now you should get warm very quickly. What's happening is your blood vessel is just constricted, just like an ice pack works on your injury, right? And when they dilate again, you're getting fresh, rich blood to that area, and it's kind of pushing out all of the stuff that was causing the pain. <laughs> Two principles to keep in mind of why people float. One for the physical, one for the spiritual, and really the third one is for the mental, so three. Um, if you are physically addressing aches, pains, um, just overall relaxation, floating is great, again, because of the physical quality of the magnesium being a natural muscle relaxer. When you're in the float tank, there's a lack of stimulation, right? So you get into a very relaxed state. Some think of it as, you know, the state that you fall in right before you fall asleep. The theta state is a very uh, deep level of relaxation and your mind just goes really into a relaxed state. Um, so it addresses anxiety, it addresses nervousness, it addresses stress. Um, they're doing a lot of research, of clinical research with academic based um, emphasis on addressing PTSD, depression. Um, so there's a lot of new information coming out about that that's being released every year. That was amazing. So I floated, I got frozen, 
I am the most relaxed I have ever been. And I got my tea. Gloria, thank you. This is perfect. <laughs> You can find out more information about Float 60 and its three locations at float60.